previously on No Limits. We have a lot of stars on this team who can score, who can defend. I'm starting to feel myself and it's gonna get crazy. Bray is the most functional, unfunctional person I've ever met and I, I can't figure it out. <laughs> Bray, why are you laughing? <laughs> because it hurts. Tanya's really gonna get her license. Yes, sir! Meanwhile, Mikey pulls up in a Lambo truck. Man, that makes me feel like a celebrity, man. <laughs> We got a great crowd here, and this is not the way we've been playing. Let's match your energy, okay? All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, come on. It's senior night, and this is definitely the biggest crowd we've had, so we can't disappoint. We owe it to DJ to come out here and put on a show. That's a foul! Okay, the first one, I came in a little aggressive. But the second one, that girl just flopped. That was not a foul. Oh my God! I, hater, 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 hater. Now I gotta head to the bench. I hate not being out there, but my dog's locked up on defense. Samaya is so important to our team. She always has her eyes up for the outlet pass. And those one-handed LeBron assists. She's like the ultimate team player. We stepped up our defense and got her rolling, but this team won't go away. Their guards are constantly in attack mode. We have a double digit lead, but with the way their guards are attacking and the way they can shoot from the three, we can't let up. Ball got stuck. Really? Okay, listen, yeah. listen, finish strong. This is for the league championship, okay? We gotta focus on the layups. Focus on making your layups, finishing your layups, all right? Say less, I got you. We got locked in when we had to. And we're feeling good going into the playoffs. This is a special night for DJ. There was a lot going on. But we got through it. Okay, so the DJ. My senior. Um, so DJ's been playing playing for me since she's been six years old, and um, what you've given this program is I can't I can't explain it. Right? Thank you for being who you are. We're gonna miss you, DJ. Yeah, DJ! I love you guys so much. You guys are like the little sisters that I don't have. We're gonna miss DJ next year for sure. I'm glad she got to have her special night. I love you. Love you too. Bye. Hearing DJ talk about how much the team meant to her, I felt that. And they got me thinking about senior night next year, and it's me and Brea's turn. First regular season in the books, now it's playoffs. Growing up, it was always like people doubted me, saying I would never really make it to the places that I said I was going to. I just stay blessed and stay prayed up because I know it can all get taken away quickly, taken in one step at a time. Just a little over a year ago, I made the biggest decision of my life by committing to UCLA. It's crazy because I committed as a sophomore. A lot of people don't do that, and that's a really a young age to commit because the coaches can't even call you until September 1st of your junior year, so I was really going off just what God was telling me. Every time I went to UCLA, it was always like, this just feels like home. like. I want to go there. 
I have not questioned my decision once. I'm super excited to just be able to be a part of the Bruin family and be an alumni there someday and win national championships someday. Being a Bruin is probably one of the best decisions I've ever made, to be honest. So I just hit 500K on IG and really, I just wanna thank everybody that's been following me since day one. It really means a lot. They helped me kind of build a name for myself. I've been able to do a lot of brand partnerships with Spalding and Moving Soul. Like, really, I just gotta thank God and just keep living. Rewind 365 days ago, I committed all my birthday to UCLA. And now, it's time to celebrate. Celebrating our birthday tonight, so it's gonna be super fun. And we're gonna just kinda go kick it and take pictures. Turning 17 is actually crazy, cause at heart, I really still feel like I'm 12. <laughs> able to have birthday so it's for us it's like we let like three years worth of birthdays come out into one how are you feeling Brea? Oh, great <laughs> yeah. my relationship with Jada just kind of bloomed when Jada first moved to the school we just instantly started hanging out a little bit more that's definitely one of my BFFs we're lifers everyone is wearing all black well, hopefully everyone's wearing all black. <laughs> and then Mia and Brea are wearing red dresses. <laughs> it's up and it's up and it's up and it's up. We got the goat J Will in the building. And she better take some fire pictures. We're looking a little too good not to take pictures in these outfits. So Mikey showed up. The blue Lambo is tough. Now we're about to take pictures on the rooftop. You know, get, get jiggy with it. and Brea's 17th birthday party. But it is nine o'clock, party started at seven, and they are nowhere to be found. Gonna have to keep the party people waiting. Brayonce in full effect. I think we've kept the party waiting long enough. We're feeling ourselves now, but let's go turn up. They pulling up right now. Blue Lambo, red dresses. Of course they showed up in style. Me and Brad came in, we were slaying stuff, and then all our friends pulled up. Being on the red carpet, none too much, you know, everyday things. Jada, Brea pulled up in the lamb truck. We walked on the red carpet, so pretty, look gorgeous. We slayed the red carpet, now it's time to party. I was the life of the party, kept the dance floor lit. I'm Deontay. The atmosphere at the party was really amazing and we was out there on the dance floor having fun. Swag surfing. Y'all thought they was about to stay in these dresses? Nah, they about to switch it up. Then we gonna really turn up with the game. Everybody was having a good time, not even just the kids. The moms were out and having a good time, and then my dad DJing, you know, DJ Six Footer. We had a lot of cool stuff going on. We had a lot of cool cameras. That 360 camera was pretty cool. Jada and Brad's party was a movie. The party was crazy. And we really just had the time of our life. It was really like we was turning 21. I'm just super blessed with the people who surround me. This was hands down one of the best birthdays I've ever had. Happy birthday to me and Brea. And now it's back to business, y'all. the first game of our open division bracket championship, okay? We, we did not work this hard 
to get to this point to not push through and do what we're supposed to do and win this open division. It's playoff time. This is what I came here for. I'm ready. We're ready. Let's go. For me, it seems like it went by really fast. We lost a game at the Nike TOC, and then we bounced back after that first game loss. And we've been undefeated ever since. And one of those games included Sierra Canyon, one of the top teams in the state and in the country. After losing those games in Arizona, I think we just took it to heart and practiced harder just so that every game after that, we were determined not to lose through like, especially league. So the plan is to still go undefeated just to go to state. We're not gonna take any opponent lightly. Let's stay focused and be intense, okay? Let's get it. TBM likes to go hard in practice. She started bringing out these intense new drills. Oh, Brian, here comes Naomi! <laughs> hey! Hey! Ah! Woo! Okay, that was some good energy. We play music at practice, so of course we're gonna bust a little move. You know our style. We gotta keep it loose and get the body flowing. I'm the best dancer. Jada's gonna say her, but Jada ain't got no rhythm. Taj is gonna say her, but Taj can't catch a beat either, so it's me. I'm gonna let the people at home decide that. Now let us get back to practice before TVM has us running 17 lines. Westview, they're gonna come and bring it. So the playoff practice came out on Saturday. Uh, we got the number one seed. Uh, number one plays number eight seed, that's Westview. Talented team, high IQ, well-coached team. Let's start on that notch, turn it up to here. So we just take them out of the game and just deflate it. Give them nothing to cheer about, okay? We're supposed to win, but you never know. Anything can happen in playoffs. Here we go. Come on, come on, you guys got this? Practice should be harder than the game. When we were doing the drills, we were like, are you serious? She had us running up and down the court nonstop. It was so tiring. Made one call, look at what happened. All that capping, came with the traps, came with the shoes, Ooh, came good with shot. the shot. It's a new drill I created, so they don't know what the hell's going on right now. <laughs> Let's do it. TBM always finds new ways to challenge us, but she doesn't know about our secret sauce. You know, it gotta marinate, gotta <laughs> got eat in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now we out. My mindset going into the game is like, stay locked in and be ready because this is our first playoff game, so it's kind of like a, a come out game. So, you know, it's like to show everybody what we're really about and what we're here to do. Hydrate, sleep, eat right. Okay, you understand? Okay, you don't come in here dehydrated, you're not gonna be able to sprint and run. You're not gonna be able to think when I'm talking to you in a timeout. You're just gonna be worried about drinking water and have no idea what I said, okay? You take care of that part. We just took care of what we need to take care of and then you just go out and make shots tomorrow, okay? I'm feeling really good. I'm excited. It's finally playoff time. I think we're really ready. I think we're in shape. I think mentally we're ready to get up and down quickly, move on the fly, think on the fly, and just be locked in from the get-go. Since we wake up tomorrow, it's time to go. Three, two, one. We've been preparing all season for this, and now we're just trying to make our run. Next time on No Limits. Welcome to Sunny San Diego where there's like, like no sun right now. Turn me on, yeah, I gotta get one Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Smith Center. Playoffs, let's go! Oh, what's a bad pass? Oh. I really thought we were gonna come out on fire. This is not that. If we lose this game, we're out. We're out the whole CIF tournament. Yo, Megan, what you got on? I mean, besides this video on my laptop, I'm rocking the Star Play collection. Sheesh, that's a banger. Where'd you get that? The overtime shop, duh! Just click right here and get fed like me.